Today's food for thought comes from the 18th chapter of John's Gospel in the 37th verse, which reads, Pilate therefore said to him, Are you a king then? And Jesus answered, You say rightly that I am a king. For this cause I was born, and for this cause I have come into the world, that I should bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Now, prior to his crucifixion, Jesus, he stood trial to mankind. First, the religious leaders of the Jews, they judged Jesus as they had predetermined him to be a blasphemer and a demon. After their judgment, the religious leaders, they handed Jesus off to Pilate, who was a Gentile, who actually had no interest in him whatsoever. After briefly speaking with Jesus and listening to him speak about his kingdom, which is not of this world, Pilate, he asked an all important question. He asked, are you a king then? And in response, Jesus, he gives a testimony of himself that we need to pay close attention to what he said. And Jesus said, I am a king. Then Jesus tells us once again, the cause as to why he was born into the world. And Jesus, he was manifested into the world to bear witness to the truth. And I want to be very clear about this truth. The truth that Jesus testified of in this world is a truth that is absolute. It is holy, it is divine, it is righteous. God's truth is not subjective. It is not based on one's opinion. God's truth is not objective. It is not based on research that is proven to be fact until it is researched again. No, Jesus, he came to this world for one true reason, and that reason was to bear witness to the truth that saves lives. Now, Pilate, he sarcastically asked while he walked away from Jesus, what is the truth? You see, there are many skeptics of the one and absolute truth. There are many that move with the spirit of Antichrist today that deny Christ and deny that he came in the flesh. However, Jesus said that those who are attentive to his voice, we are of the truth. The divine truth, as we know, it sets us free from the penalty of sin. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about. And I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere. And if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.